So now that I have squared everything off completely, um, we are ready to finish off our edges here. So as ever, um, I've threaded up my um, needle and I'm gonna come through this hole here. So it's still sharing um, with the other yarn. It's one in from the edge and two in from this edge. So I'm pulling it, pulling it through and I want my one inch tail at the back like we've always done. Pull that right down. And I'm gonna lie that across there and I'm gonna kind of stitch over that so that's nice and tucked in. And what we're really doing is we're actually missing out this row of squares here and we're going kind of to bypass it. So each time now our uh, needle will come in from the back and it'll come in on the row we've already got wool in. So we're missing out the empty row and we're gonna bring our needle through the row that we've already got our wool in. And this will whip stitch or loop stitch the edge. So you're just gonna work your way down, coming into that same row each time and missing that empty box. If we just went into that empty box, we would have a wee line of plastic here. So we need to come in to the um, wool, into the boxes that already have wool in them. So yeah, we're just gonna work our way down both sides, whip stitching all the way. Remember, you're always coming in from the back. And if you need to change your yarn, you're just changing it exactly the same as before. We're running your needle under your stitches and then putting your new needle in from the opposite direction to kind of cover that tail and secure it. So I whip stitched both sides and at the end here um, I've still left my two boxes at either end and I've left my needle threaded actually at the top here because we're going to use this to attach it together and then on the bottom here I've left my tail a little bit longer so I can use that as well. So what I'm going to do is, when oh, you can chop up these little tails later, I'm going to bend my canvas round and overlap these two rows of empty boxes at the end here. So they should overlap quite nicely. And then I'm gonna take my needle that's threaded and into the second box, just as we've been doing, I'm gonna come through both boxes at once. And that's gonna start attaching them. And I'm actually gonna do a double stitch on that one, just for strength. So I'm gonna come through exactly the same box again and exactly the same box again. Then I'm going to come through the next one as well, both together, and I might do a double on that one as well, just for strength. Then come through, both together. And then I'm just going to kind of thread, thread under there. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom to join it together. Again, we're not actually going to stitch these two rows, we're going to kind of go over them. So we're going to come back into the rows that have already got wool in them. So I'm going to start in here. Um, I'm, it might be a bit tricky to find the hole, but there is actually. So you can see that. So I've come through that one there. So it's directly below this um, whip stitch row, but it is already got wool in it. It's not in this two, two empty rows here. Pull that through. Again, I'm going to leave my tail and stitch over it. Tails running down the back there. Just hold up with my other finger. And I'm going to go back in over here into this hole here. So it's got wool in it, I'm missing it with two in the middle, and go back in there. And that actually looks quite nice. So you might need to kind of push your wool back a little bit to find the holes because you're not going into these two here, you're going kind of under and amongst the wool you've already done. So I'm bringing that out, I'm going to I'm going to push this back with my needle and find the hole that's up in there. So it's kind of underneath that wool, missing out with two in the middle. I'm going to go all the way down, covering up that edge. Nice and neatly. And then at the end, you'll finish at the back, just slip your needle down underneath your stitches to hide that tail and then cut your um, all your tails on the inside off and make it look super nice and neat and then it's ready for your pot. And here it is, our finished Bargello plant pot. So I've snipped off all my tails to make it look nice and neat on the inside, even though you're not gonna see that. And um, yeah, you just need to find a jar or a glass or maybe just a wee pot to sit inside it. Um, and then you can 
pops up something lovely and it'll look really nice hopefully on a shelf. So if these videos have been helpful, I hope they have, um, and you have managed to make a stunning Bargello plant pot, then please do tag us in pictures on Facebook and Instagram. We are the Edinburgh Craft Group and um, we hope that you have enjoyed Bargelloing with us.